Hello everyone, it's Catherine here uh, from Inky Finger Cat. Uh, Christmas in July project. Um, okay, I kind of kept in my mistake. So this is quite a quick card because I am having another play with the wreath builder um, kind of stencil guide thing. Um, but my first one doesn't quite go to plan. Um, I am doing a 5x5 five five card. I'm using the, I now can't remember what it's called. Oh, Tidings and Trimmings stamps and those stars. And I thought I'd do a nice pink and purpley kind of star one. So this bit goes okay. This is fine. And then I add in the two little stars and decide to stamp those. But what I don't realise is that the card stock moved. So you'll see here, stamp it once. That's great. Stamp it a second time. Oh, hang on a minute. That's not quite right. So I thought, right, well, there's always two sides of the piece of card. So I turned it over. No, that didn't work either because there were some marks on the back of the card. So back to the drawing board. So I started and I just started with the two little st stars because, well, why not? Um, and this time I'm being a little bit more careful. Um, but I, get, I do end up making mistakes again. Um, at this point, so this is um, me crafting on a weekend. Um, I've made a couple of cards already by this point, so I'm actually getting a bit tired. Um, so I think that's probably why there's some mistakes made. But yeah, I decide that I'm going to add in the big star, but also stamp a little star at the same time. Um, yeah, it, it requires a bit of effort. And considering the previous time I'd used this wreath builder, it had just gone so smoothly. <laughs> this goes to show sometimes things don't go smoothly, even when they should. So I'm also not entirely happy with the fact that these stars kind of look like there's just four, four big stars on the page with some others scattered around. So I'm still not happy with it. So I go back in more of the little stars and I'm just still deciding what to do. The good news is nothing is ever wasted. Oh, here we go. This is where I make another mistake. So those stars that are in the center, what I didn't realize is that when I stamp it the first time and I put it back in, um, the cardstock had moved. So I've got another shadow stamping. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a disaster at this point, but I, I, I'm determined to rescue it and to determine to keep going. Because obviously if I'd have not kept going, well, there wouldn't be a video here today. So um, at this point, I think, no, I'm just going to cover the whole sheet. It's not going to be a wreath anymore. I am just building up a pattern regardless. Um, so, uh, yeah, again, sorry, faffing around because I've cleaned the stamp. I've cleaned the stamp platform. And every time I went to ink it, it moved because, um, because it was wet. So, yeah, I definitely think it was a case of I was tired by this point. So I'm all in and in about what to do. Do I want to do all eight or am I still doing four? I decided to just do four, then to move the stamp because otherwise it's going to overlap and none of the others have overlapped. I think if I'd have just overlapped from the beginning, it would have been fine. But never mind. We learn sometimes, don't we? In fact, that's just given me an idea which might appear on another card is to overlap these stars. I wonder if they're too patterned and whether it'd work or not don't know anyway at this point I decide right okay how am I going to fix that middle bit so I think right well let's stamp the star again but onto this um pale purple kind of cardstock I don't know what it, I don't know what cardstock that is and then I decide to fussy cut it so there are dies for the stamp set I own the dies completely forgot about them so I end up fussy cutting quite a lot of stars at this point uh, because that does not cover up both of the little stars or look right. And then I remember, well, you know that piece that you messed up? Just fussy cut all those stars out. So at this point, this becomes like a little cluster of stars that's going on in the middle of the page, all very similar colours, but you know what? It all kind of works. And I decide to have all four of those stars that I'd stamped previously, uh, yeah, I do attempt to cut myself as well. That's why I was looking at my hand then, see whether I'd come through the skin, but I hadn't. Um, again, another sure sign that I must have been tired. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I decide that I'm just going to stick these stars down. 
uh, all the way around the center and then stick this other one in the middle. I'm going to use those little scraps of the purple cardstock in order to glue them together and that's going to create just that little bit of lift on the back of the star and then I'm going to stick it down. And that pretty much is me done. I trim it and then I decide actually I don't want it to be a square piece of cardstock anymore. <laughs> Oh, I spend ages as well fiddling with that star to make the point be at the top, which is hilarious when you see what I end up doing. So I had a, had a little hunt through the, um, I keep a folder where I've got either card blanks ready made or something similar. Uh, and found this one that was Blackberry Bliss and thought, yeah, that'll work perfectly. Um, so I trimmed down my panel. I used my tape to glue it down, uh, to adhere it down, and then put it on upside down. So the star point is now at the bottom. I, genuinely, how many errors could I make with this card? It's ridiculous. Because uh, it's quite a dark card blank, I do decide that it needs uh, an insert. So I've got some scrap white there, and then one of the off cuts that I do wonky, and I lift it up, and then I realise that it's not stuck down all the way. I mean, really. Right, on for a sentiment, and I ummed and aahed over a sentiment um, and decided on this season's greeting from the same stamp set. I just did it onto white, but using the seedless preserves and then just fussy cut it out. Again, with hindsight, probably would have done a couple of layers to just give it a bit of strength. And I ummed and aahed about positioning. Uh, that was the point where I realised I'd stuck my star on upside down. So as in I stuck the panel on upside down so my star was now pointing at the bottom which is just weird it doesn't matter nobody else is going to notice this apart from me and now you because I'm pointing it out but you know when you just kind of go yeah it's a handmade card Catherine it's fine um and that was my finished day oh yeah I did the silver enamel dots that was what I added there so I actually love it I am annoyed that it's upside down it was frustrating to make because I kept making mistakes, but that was because I was tired. So please do give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe to see more. And until next time, goodbye.